All right, y'all. I'm back out here with another video. We at the garage. We just got two of our propane CEs in Friday. That's 518 and 523. So right, we got some of the first propane CEs in the state. I believe we probably the first two to get ours. I believe Union County and another county was getting them too. Um, okay, let's take a walk around. That's 518. Look at y'all. Propane badge right there. Got the backup camera on this bus. This is like one of four buses in the county with it. Uh, this 523, which is the other propane CE, and five, no, it's 497 and 499, which is our 22 uh, CEs. They are also lifts, like this one. 523 is a lift also. Let's see. No killing the public schools. I don't know if y'all saw the pictures that have been going around. I think Chile, the Border Collie, posted it or whatever. Of the North Carolina buses at the plant. And the county name is was just as big as the North Carolina Public Schools, which is not supposed to be like that. Um, I believe these buses were all... Our buses were also like that, but they fixed it. I'm trying to see if you could see, like, where they were or not. But you can't see it. I can't see it either. Bus 518. See, it's kind of dark on this side. Hope y'all can see good. Um, I don't know if y'all could tell, but they changed the um, turn signals on the 2023s. They moved them, I think, because I'm pretty sure they were like right there or whatever. But they also have like a a guard around it now. Like before, it was just a marker light. Now it's like a black guard. Like how our 2016 C2s are. They don't have anything in here yet. It should be a Synovia, but they didn't put it on there yet because we just got the buses. They don't even got the tags for them yet. So go around. Can't really, because they got it up on the fence. Bus 518. I wish we would get the, um, what is it? It's like the... I forgot the Bendix braking system. It's like it, it usually has like a sensor in the bumper and it's like on the dash and it tells them if, they, if they're too close or not. Bus 518. One thing I like about this bus is at least they, it says powered with propane, but I was hoping that it would be like a, um, like a um, CE badge on it. I saw one of the um, buses in the picture had a CE badge on it. I'm in county schools. LPG only. That's the decal for the um, the manual shutoff right there. It's the lift door. Open it. Go open it real quick. Let's see. Um, that's the LED dome light. I thought that was supposed to be LED also. I know they're LED on the C2s and the Bluebirds, but I guess not for the CEs. Um, usually, what they started on the 2022s is that light would come right there, but I guess they didn't do it on the CEs. Let's okay. Um, another thing that I heard, I haven't seen the other bus yet because it's in the garage and I don't want to go in there right now. Um, but our other CE, it didn't come with the stopper and the the little hook thing for the lift door. Let's take a look on this side. So, okay. So yeah, it's 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 mostly the same. This bus has a backup camera on the door. Y'all can't really see it because it's off. So forty eight passenger CE. Let's see when this bus was manufactured. It says um. The bus was manufactured in September 25th, and we just now getting them. Um, it's nothing too different about the switch panel. One thing I noticed, I don't know if they've been made this change. They could have been did it, but I know our 2019 CEs, they had a master flasher switch. This bus does not. It's the rear heater, the boost pump, noise suppression, dome lights, mess, master flasher, one light cancel. Hold on. Um, you have your door switch, 
power mirrors, driver heater. This is the AC switch. Um, I don't really know what these for. I, I think they also control the driver heat as well. There's nothing in here. I can see it's just like a driver manual or whatever. We don't keep keys on the buses. Um, that's the driver fan. Dash. Uh. Row, uh, this is the stability, the tank switches. I wish we did have exhaust brakes on our buses, but we don't. Econ switch, and let's see how many miles it got. It only has 1,245 miles on it. Child check me label. Tulsa, Oklahoma decal. And this is a, I noticed that the buses that come with a backup cam, they always come with like an extra box, like extra mirror in here for whatever reason. I, that's just something that they do. Dome lights. Our buses only come with one emergency exit on each side also. <laughs> that's the, um... Witcher lift. Um, child checkmate. Our lift buses come with these little tracks down the side where the um lift or where the wheelchair would go. Um, I don't know if y'all have the little tracks or whatever. I think it's called the smart track. I know that's what they call them on the C2. So AC units, IC air. Now, one thing I was hoping on this bus, um, the demo bus it came with a ac unit on that side like right there obviously they can't do that because of this but um yeah they come on this side like our bluebirds they have it alternating like i think the back ac is right here and then the front ac is on the driver's on the passenger side our c2s they have like a ac unit up front where that is and it's usually like ac unit right here and our ICs, they have it, like, just on this side, like you can see. I wish they would just alternate it, though, because it just makes more sense. Like, why well, have both AC units on one side of the bus? Because the demo bus was like that, but the demo bus, it wasn't a lift. It was a regular bus. It was a 72-passenger CE. But, yep, that's it on the inside. I've never noticed that before, but I think whatever this green thing is, is for the diagnostics or whatever. I never seen that on any other CD or that's my first time ever noticing it so yeah that's about it for the CD so yep girl that's 523 mm-hmm